Hi, I'm Danny Holbaum. Welcome to my studio. Today what I'd like to share with you is something that's not too widely known um, to most artists, but it really can be a, a helpful tool, especially if you're trying to find a specific color. Nowadays, you know, we, get, we have so many computers and stuff, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll put together an idea or a comp or something that we want up or uh, we have some reference that we're using we want the exact colors that match up so well in what we've done before and we want to recreate them up on canvas but sometimes our eyes can fool us a lot of times i'll be painting in a certain area and maybe it's like this which is all green and there'll be something in here that I'm, i've painted before and the next day i come back and i'm looking and i'm going Oh yeah, that's on a purplish line, and I mix in some kind of light purple and put it up there, and it's totally the wrong color. And the more I look at it, it looks like it's purple, but when I put purple next to it, it's just a real, an off, off color. And here, here's an example of what I want to show you. Okay, on this first one here, now some of these are optical illusions, you've probably seen them before, but I'm getting to a point, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this first one here, when you look at it, um, because of the placement of the one box up against the blue background, the other one the box to go up against the brown background, um, your eye tells you that the bottom is lighter. So if you mix the color for the top part and then you were going to paint the bottom for that, you would mix the lighter color and you would be way off. And what, we have to, what you have to do is actually go and you get yourself something like this. This is called a gray card. Now, you can buy them, which I think I bought this one years ago, probably older than I am. But um, I bought it a long time ago. And all it is is just something that is solid and it's 50% gray. Now, what 50% gray is, it's not totally white, it's not totally black, it's exactly in the middle, 50% gray. So, you can buy one of these in the store if you can locate them, or if not, just go uh, print one up. Print a piece of paper up, um, or a card thing, or whatever you have. Just print something up at 50% gray. When you print it up, then just come in and cut a hole. Now, these are rather large. But you can cut in a small hole to find one particular spot. And what you do, like again, these are really large here. I actually have another one that's smaller. I think one that I made up myself, about half that size. But you just go up to anything that you want. And what that does is now see, it blocks out all these other colors that next to this piece. So when I look at it, because this is 50% gray, 50% gray is the, is the neutral of neutrals. It's not light, it's not dark, and isn't, there's no color in it. It's completely neutral. So when you throw this up against the, some area in here, like this white or this little shade that I'm doing here, I can see the exact color that that is because the background is not tricking my eye. Now let's go back to what I was showing you before. Again, see how that, when you look at this, the top box looks darker than the bottom box. That's tricking your eye because of the other colors and the tone value next to it. Now let's go to the next one. This one here is probably one of the best examples that I'm trying to point out. When you look at this box, you look at where that one circle is, you look at that brown square that's up on top. And then you look down where the shadow is, and you can see the, the circle around another uh, lighter brown square. Now, when you're looking at that, you would probably put 100 bucks down that that one in the shadow is a lighter shade than the one up on top. But again, if you take, that, if you take the neutral card and put it over it, they're both the same color, the same tone, the same value, they're identical, yet your eye is tricking you because of the other colors around it and the other intensities around it, thinking that one is a different shade and maybe even a different color than that one is. Now, this last one here, this is really, really very good how they put this together. Um, what this is, is you've got four boxes here and you've got um, 
light streaks you have yellow on top of some of the boxes and then it's the dark blue that are on top of the other part the other boxes and the whole thing is when you look at it you look and you say okay there's four small squares behind it and they're four different colors one is like an orange one is like a, a reddish purple one is a, a, a dark green the other one is more of a, a yellowish green yet if you take away those stripes and move those squares together you find out that they're both the same color same reds and the same the same greens and so what I'm saying is you know the your eye can trick you so if you just get something simple like this just a, a, um, a piece of paper or cardboard or, or buy one of these in the store it's something that's 50% gray it has to be completely neutral no colors into it and just cut a hole in it. You can cut a small hole or a big hole. A lot of times that'll help you pick out something. If you have a, a photograph that you're working from or something and you want to try to, you know, get the same colors that's in the photograph that you're using as a reference, just put this up to the thing and you can see the exact color you need to mix on your canvas to throw on the, on, I mean, to mix on your palette to throw on your canvas and achieve the color that you want. So it's something very simple. Uh, anybody can make one or get one, and um, it'll save you a lot of heartache in the end. Thank you. To see more of my artwork, you can go to my website at inspired-art.com.